Okay, so this is our bike alternator setup. Um, a few key things to note that are similar to the, to the diagram that we just showed you. Um, we have the battery terminal from the alternator um, going then to this voltmeter. Right now, we don't have uh, an actual battery because our lead acid battery was dead. So instead, to provide the current to the alternator, to the rotor coil in the alternator, um, we have these two six volt batteries hooked up in series, um, which will provide uh, 12 volts um, to the alternator and the sensing lead to the voltage regulator internal to the alternator sees this 12 volt so it says hey there's a battery here uh, I'm gonna pull current to energize the rotor and then once we start things turning uh, there will be a voltage that comes out from the uh, battery positive lead it's gonna be too high because we don't have an actual battery connected and the sensing lead should be connected to a common point um, which would be connected to this lead going to the battery as well. So I'm going to get on the bike. Dare is going to flip a switch to run current from these batteries into the rotor and then we'll show you that we can create a voltage um, about 30 some volts and um, then I'll stop pedaling and we will let the uh, voltage fall back down to zero after I'm done. So let's go to it. So it gets noticeably more difficult to pedal now because uh, the electric mode, of course, inside the alternator. All right, so I'll switch this off now. And it immediately falls. Alright, any last remarks? Cool. <laughs>